What is going on guys? So the Mida multi-tool has made its return to Destiny 2 and in my opinion was one of the best well-rounded weapons in the game. Not only for PvP but it was vastly underrated for PvE. The flinch in it made it really easy to stagger enemies in both PvP and PvE. The enhanced movement speed especially with competitive and teamwork and rotations meaning so much more in PvP. This gun's value is crucial to the current meta and it's going to be a wonderful addition to your arsenal. Now to unlock this thing, it's actually fairly simple. The only thing that you need to have done is complete the game, beat the story mission, and be level 20. Upon doing this, you can travel back to Earth. After the main quest line is over, additional quests start to show themselves. You can see the little icon on the left side of your screen right now. That blue icon will show up on the right side of the EDZ. Now, I bypassed the patrols one. I didn't have to do this, and I believe there's only two quests total. Around 20-30 minutes playtime necessary to knock them out. And it's pretty worth it so just grab a buddy run through it and knock it out as quick as possible very easy to do upon doing so and completing those two quests you are rewarded with the Mida mini tool which is a submachine gun in the energy category that you are allowed to use it's legendary it's really cool actually it's very very potent and it also allows you to travel back to the tower and you can go ahead and talk to the gunsmith and start the Mida multi-tool quest line one little tip before we get started is any blue that is rare quality scout rifles that you come across, hold on to them. Lock them down, store them in the vault, do not let them go. You will need five of them to complete this quest and they do take quite a bit of time to collect if your RNG is not blessing you that day. So quest step number one, shoot, sight, repeat. Not necessarily in that order. We have objective number one. You need 50 precision shots with scouts. That's right, you need at least one scout to use to drop those 50 headshots. Then you're also going to need to chain 25 kill streaks together. These are multiple kills within one magazine, so with no reloads whatsoever. Doing this will allow you to return to the gunsmith and start process number two. Step number two is under the hood, and <laughs> I feel like somebody told me about this. I had a feeling it was coming. So you have to dismantle scout rifles. Five of them total. Hopefully you listened to me before you started this journey, and you'll have them available for you to do so. You go ahead, you dismantle them after you get this point, you turn it right back into the gunsmith, and you start on the next phase. And I would recommend you guys to try out that new Mida mini tool. Now the gunsmith hits you with a really creative one. The fall will kill you is quest step number three, and the final step. You need to get 50 airborne SMG kills, put on glide, obviously blink is not going to help you too much with this. Have that SMG, just... Prey on a lot of unsuspecting easy creatures. I wouldn't say doing any heavy duty HPT situations or any patrols. Stick to something simple like sectors and things like that. Just free roam. It's fairly easy to do. It should take you 5 to 10 minutes when you're out there and you get it under control. After you hit him with those airborne plays, you can now return to the gunsmith and redeem your very own Mida multi tool. It's very similar to the original one. I'll give you a little sneak peek at the perks and talents. I got it at a whopping 279 light, which is. Well, definitely worth looking at. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the thing. And yeah, first look, it kind of doesn't feel the same. You got corkscrew rifling, does look familiar. High caliber rounds, which was the built-in flinch in the other one, the Mida radar, which is huge in this game because the radar is a big area of weakness. Hand laid stock for more control and, of course, the movement speed. So yes, the tool is back. Use it. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, stay tuned. I'll have some gameplay of it up in the future, and I got some more stuff coming down the pipeline. Take care, guys. Catch you around.